Greetings again, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. Fruits for the youths. This is Farmer Angel at you again. Now, guys, I am very, very, very excited. Very excited. Um, I was here on the farm. You know, we did some work on the farm. Did some irrigation. We did some spraying, burned some land. And we also transplanted some some um, seedlings from the drop seed technique of the pop chai. I'm going to take you and show you that in a little bit. But the reason why I'm excited, people, I'm D Mwango. <laughs> I have I am a subscriber to her channel. Um, we spoke on the phone again today, this time via video call. She was at the coronation market where I, I was supposed to be but because of you know illness I wasn't able to go to the market this week but I am out here in the field but you know the universe knows what is best but at least we got to make contact so D Mongo big ups respect it's Angela manners and respect I appreciate that you took the time out and called me alright Ilvi <laughs> shout out to you to Ilvi Best of yourself. So yes, peeps. Um, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get some some more spraying done. We have a nursery of cabbage that we need to spray from insects and fungus. So um, I'm gonna show you now what we did with the drop seed technique. What is the result of it? So. I want my sun shades. Sun is very hot today. Back in the sun again, see? People, sun not giving us a easy now. But we have a nice shade right there. So, this side of the farm we have. Yeah. Turn on the pump. Alright. So, this side of the farm we have some. Pop choy that was drop seed. They survived the heavy rains the other day, and of course we had to clean them out for them to look so healthy. But still, they, they need to be sprayed for for insects. And over here is where we have been most of the morning. We're filling out some patches because what we did with the drop seed technique. Let me show you, for example, over here. If you notice that the pop choy they grow a lot of them grow one place see that so what we do we take out the ones that are bundled and we plant them at the ball spots and fill out the area all right so this bed right here of, of pop choy we transplanted them out as you can see we don't have a lot of ball spots <clears throat> so this is what we were doing all morning Along with burning some grass over there, which you was, you saw already in a previous video. Now this is where we irrigated this morning. We irrigated all of here, the pop chai. So we have two beds of pop chai, one to my left, one to my right. The one on the right is gonna be ready before this one on the left. But we still have to plant out these spots. And see people still heading down the pop chai bed all I hear was drop seed so a lot of pop chai people I'm talking thousands of pop chai see so the land is still wet from this morning we've been planting all day hold on some more Chai. Sound man is the person who been doing all this planting down here. Alright, sound man. I big you up man. So you see people plant the lettuce very close. Not the lettuce, sorry, pop chai. Very close. This would be perfect if we get some rain on this right now. They will look very beautiful and lovely. So we are at the end of the pop choy 
right here so i'm coming from all the way up there peeps do you see those bananas so we did a lot of pop chart so this is where the water gonna come out I'm gonna wet everything again all the way up so it's so, a so hot evening what time is again so, so we have to get some water and done and of course We have the lettuce also to water. <clears throat> so lots of hard work, people. But we don't mind the hard work. Hard work will pay off. The hard work will pay off. So my subscribers in England, Selvin, Rooms, pick up yourself. Um, teacher boy. Yeah, and Ibi, one skilly bird. Yeah, man, those are my subscribers in England to shout them out, you know, giving me the support and the encouragement that I need. That is good. I like that. We encourage each other all the time. You know, teamwork make the dream work. Yes, peeps. So. We have here a nursery right here and I almost forgot to mention this nursery to you people if you look carefully you'll notice that we have a sweet pepper nursery right here look carefully people the sweet peppers they need to be sprayed or something is attacking it but we have sweet peppers Check out the rose. Check out the rose, people. Because I want the gloves. So you see the rose. If you look carefully, you'll see the rose. I'm going to spray these with insecticide. But what I'm going to do first, I'm going to water them, irrigate them. Then I'm going to apply the, the fungus spray to them. Sometimes you have to improvise, peeps. Sometimes you really have to improvise. So we have to irrigate all over there with the lettuce and all down there with the pop chai. I'm going to check to see if the water you notice if the water is here? Yes. So let the leak right here. So yes, the water is here. Hold on and help with the whole watering because these holes are not easy to handle by yourself you have to have help to get it going because you'll destroy all your effort and hard work hot <laughs> hey the water is hot peeps so so i'm gonna make it run out See that? Feel the heat. Feel the heat. Seat a belt out there now. Different water are coming now. So you see me like so man, you see if you flood. Yeah so, I'm flood up there so. And it's kinda it kinda slant already in a slope. I'm gonna feel somewhere for water so often you know. Cause you just wait it up and then throw the two in them. That's my idea, so I don't know. Yeah, because it turned down the side. So it... Okay, you're not turning right way. All you have to do is not dry time, you know, you just block up your right so. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, peeps, I was suggesting an idea. Hold on. That instead of watering so many times for the week, 
if you realize that there's a slope the water slopes so you flood the top up there with water flood the trenches and flood the ones down here and block them up here for the land to hold the water because these plants love water catch crop pop chai so I don't know so it's just an idea sometimes you have to work smart and not hard you know because all of here is like a slope so once you flood the top the water will eventually soak the soil downwards to this side like this so yeah so here <clears throat> doing some serious irrigation work people let's save the crops how to care for lettuce how to transplant lettuce not lettuce my bad so i'm so sorry not lettuce i mean pop chai I keep saying lettuce because lettuce and pop chai are like the same peeps water pressure drop not sure so amazing peeps So yes peeps, this is what we are doing now, see, where it has a lot, bundles, move them and we transplant them to different spots. So we are filling out the ball spots, right there, still getting some irrigation done, oh, well, and a garling, alright, now we reach here at the lettuce. So we're going around in a circle, caring for these lettuce. We planted them today's a Tuesday, planted them last Thursday. And here they are, not looking too bad. Mm -hmm. Pop chai on one side, lettuce on one side. And we're getting the two beds all the way down to the banana trees down there. So yes. So this is how you start after doing the drop seed technique and let this bundle up at one spot. You move them. Move them. See? Transplant. Transplant. Even in two weeks or one week, you'll see what we are working with here. It's going to be very green and pretty. Of course, you're going to have some scrubs and bushes growing up, growing up in and around it. But we know the outcome. Look at the birds, people. Birds are out. As soon as these birds see water hit the land, they get in there because when water hit land, it tends to have a lot of worms. You know, even though the worms do good for the land, it absorbs some of the bad fungus that are in the land. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> What a girl. Bring it closer to one of these pop chai. They have a champion one here. They have a champion pop chai right here. Nice looking, right? So one man there. 
clean out the blank spots. Came over on the people. Oh, man. Putting up the drum sweeps. It's a cold world. Need water. And this is all from the environment people. All from the river. Filling up this drum. Tapping up this one. Then I'll continue my watering. There's a bee in the water. So I'm going to swim. Swim with the bee, swim with the bee. Swim, swim, swim. Swim, B. I'm going to run off. Save his life. Come on, bees. Do better than that, man. Come on, swim for your life. Swim for your life. Come on. Nothing in life is easy. Come on. Swim for it. Right, I think I have to help him out, peeps. Too much of my time. So I'm help him out. Come on. There you go. So there you go, peeps. Save the bee. Enjoy your few wings, them, and you're good again. All right, now, peeps. Back to business. Get in this nursery. What? some more planting tomorrow and peeps it is a good time now to plant your nurseries or to the transplanting whatever planting you're doing because it is dark night now and they say that the, the seeds grow better it's better for the seeds when the night is dark that's the time to plant sometimes Sometimes full moon, you have to do something to it. I don't know, I'm learning. But I definitely ask questions and get answers. And yes, nothing is on this land as yet. I'm still getting it wet because we're going to do some, we might plant some lettuce on it tomorrow. So I'm getting it damped. Here we have lettuce. Ooh, what? What's up, 
back to you. So, peeps, it's been a very, very productive day. I can't complain. We got a whole bunch of things done today. Burn some land, transplant some seedlings, and um, irrigate some plants. You know, so to give thanks, you know. Very, very prosperous day. So, peeps, once again, I thank you for tuning in with us to see how we irrigate our plants, our lettuce and our pop choy and how we transplant it. Alright, so thank you very much once again for joining in. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. It's free to subscribe people. Hit that like button, hit that notification button and walk with people.